Okay, number one, ovaries. And also here, the yellowish structure. In the uterine or fallopian tubes wrap over the ovaries, going to the uterus. Over the ovaries and go to the uterus. Different parts of the fallopian tube. Starting off with the fimbria, the finger-like projections over the ovaries. Then you have the infundibulum, the funnel-like structure next to the fimbria. Then you have the ampulla, the dilated portion of the, the tube. Then the thin portion as it enters the uterus, that's the isthmus. Fimbria, ampulla, fimbria, infundibulum, ampulla, and Isthmus. Then you have the uterus. This is the uterus. And the uterus over here. Uterus <coughs> has a body and fundus. Most of this is the body. The dome like structure over, uh, or I should say, superior to the entry point of the fallopian tubes. That is the fundus. Then you have the cervix, the lower portion of the uterus that projects into the vagina, that is the cervix. Cervix has three parts, has the passageway in it, that's the cervical canal. The inner opening to the uterine cavity, that's the internal uh, os, OS. And then the opening into the vagina, that is the external os, OS again. Then you have the layers of the uterus. The innermost layer, which is colored pink and red, is the endometrium. Then the muscle portion, myometrium. Then the outer portion, which is the um, perimetrium. So endo, myo, and perimetrium. Then of course, this is the vagina. Inferior and interior to the uterus, this is the bladder, urinary bladder and then the urethra coming from the urinary bladder. <coughs> Next you have the rectum and you have the fornix of the vagina. Those are the extensions above the cervix. Those are the fornixes of the vagina. External reproductive structures. This whole area is known as the vulva. Mons pubis is this out of fat in front of the actual pubic symphysis. Adipose tissue, all the yellow is adipose tissue. 